Good to see what this was like after being in Michigan, Ohio State. What would, what would, how would you describe your first taste of this rivalry? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. You know, it, it just had a different vibe uh, than any game that we've had this season. And guys that have been here in the past, um, you know, told me that that was going to happen. And, and, you know, it was cool. And, and obviously, uh, the, the stadium wasn't packed, but with there being a lot of USC fans there, too, it kind of felt like a, a neutral site a little bit, which made things even more interesting. So, um, yeah, just just a lot of fun. At the start of the fourth quarter, they came out of the field and were kind of jumping, dancing around. Did you did you notice that? Did that? Were any thoughts run through your mind seeing that? Uh, yeah. I mean, nothing like no positive thoughts. Um, <laughs> my mom always says, if you don't have anything positive to say, don't say anything at all. So those are my thoughts. <laughs> well, did you take us through? Uh, can you take us through that uh, touchdown pass to Theo in the first quarter and your reaction afterwards? Yeah, that was um, a cover zero look where we were going to have, uh, you know, I, I alerted it at the line of scrimmage, uh, just changed some blocking schemes around, and uh, knew with the flat top defense that with Theo's speed, um, he was going to have a chance. And uh, Iman Marshall, I remember hosting him when he visited Michigan. He's obviously their best secondary player, uh, a top guy in the country, but. You know that doesn't really scare scare us away, and um, I knew Theo was going to make a play. I just give him air, and, and he can adjust to it accordingly. Knowing the kind of season you guys have had, it's been up and down for you personally, and then for the entire team. How does it feel to get this rivalry win and have have this as a bragging right? Yeah, the, the whole per, like personally thing, it, it doesn't. That's all out the window. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just about the team, and um, I was telling some guys in there what I one of the main things I learned in Michigan was when you win um, you represent the guys that you're playing with the coaching staff but all of the players and coaches that came before you and, and all the players and coaches that are to come in the future and uh, that's what this win was about it was you know for obviously this locker room of players and coaches but all the Bruins that came before us with this rich history of, of a football program and all the guys that are you know on the way. And I know they mentioned ups and downs and everything, but I mean, just can you talk, walk me through what this week was just like from practice to the game? Just you know, just I think we had a great week, a great week of training. Um, guys were locked in, just like every other week, though. And uh, it's I know we we had two wins going into this game, uh, but it just it's not it wasn't a two win football team. Um, obviously, injuries and everything kind of played a part into into that record, but uh, the, the coaching staff did a great job of keeping us focused. The guys. Had a great positive outlook every Monday when we come into meetings. So um, yeah, we we came in last Monday just excited. It was the crosstown rival, and and we knew we could uh, win this thing. Joshua Kelly had a really great game. Obviously, how does that kind of affect your maybe like mental preparation or confidence? Kind of knowing that he can consistently put up yardage. Yeah, well, I think uh, a quarterback's best friend is a solid run game. And uh, 295 yards, I think, that's more than solid. And just, it doesn't really help preparation or anything um, because you, you don't know going into the game that you're going to have a guy rush for 295. But in the flow of the game, it, it definitely helps. Uh, it helps play action. I think we had a couple uh, flat routes, um, big conversions on third down um, that, you know, I, I show play action and they see, you know, counters and, and Halfback dives right up the middle, so the, the linebackers and the safety start to cheat up, and, and that helps me out personally a lot. Well, just um, it seemed like you were able to complete it, complete a lot of passes in the tight spaces. How much did that jump ball on that first drive to the tight end kind of help get you going too? Yeah, you know, um, I, they, they brought a edge crusher, and I, I came out of my the, the play action and. Um, I kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye, and um, yeah, I just was able to, to avoid the sack. And I, when I saw Caleb have a little bit of space um, down the field, I knew that's all I needed because I knew he'd go up and, and make the play. So um, yeah, that really got the the flow of the game going, um, jumped us out to a good start, and, and we were able to complete and, and convert that drive. And. Uh, you're one of the older guys on the team, not going to have as many games to play with UCLA, some of the younger guys, but do you feel like you cemented your personal legacy here at all? Nah, it's not for me to decide, and, and um, you know, I think time time tells that, and um, 
you know, only only here for one season. But the bottom line is we, we beat SC, we beat the, the Crosstown rival, and um, L.A. belongs to the Bruins this year. Well, in the play-by-play, -play, uh, this, this play might not stand out, but it was the first, it was the drive when you guys were down six, and you were going for your own two-yard line. You got hit on the first play of the drive, and then that third down, the pass to Theo to keep that drive alive, and then you eventually score on Kelly's 55-yard run. How big was that pass, even though it's been built for 30 yards? Or whatever? Well, the one I threw away uh, where I got hit pretty hard, that stands out because that, that hurt a lot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, Theo made a great read. Uh, they had, I think it was number seven, kind of in there in the, in the middle of the field, the hole, he was spying. And Theo came around his break, saw that, and as soon as I locked eyes with Theo, I knew he had seen that. He got QB friendly, and, and we moved the chains. And um, yeah, it was a 96-yard 90, touchdown drive or something like that. But yeah, that's big time. That's big time to um, get pinned back like that and then come out and answer with authority is a um, game changer. Thank you, Alvin. Thanks. Thanks, guys.